Hey, what's up everybody? Hungry Hussy here, and it's a beautiful morning in North Carolina. A little brisk, just a little bit of my breath. Um, man, beautiful morning. It's a little cool today, but I thought, let's get a little breakfast going, okay? A little breakfast for the family. Uh, so what we're going to do is, or what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something for myself, and I'm going to cook something for the family. What I'm cooking for myself, the family don't quite care for okay so i want to do uh some sausage eggs and cheese something out in the woods i want to do some sausage eggs and cheese for them inside but i want to make mine into a burrito i'm going to do a sausage egg cheese and hash browns uh in my burrito there's going to be some good groceries now let me tell you so i can't wait to get to it what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get into the ingredients first, and then we're going to get cooking on this thing, all right? So y'all come back. We're going to do a breakfast burrito on the Blackstone griddle. All right, let's get to the ingredients. All right, so our ingredients are we got our uh, large burritos. We got our Nisi sausage. I got six eggs in there. Got a little milk. I put milk in my eggs, okay? If you don't want milk in your eggs, don't put milk in your eggs, okay? Do whatever you like. I got a little bit of uh, mushrooms, some uh, red red peppers, some green onions, and just some um, just some regular uh, Vidalia onions. We got Vidalia onions now coming up from Vidalia, Georgia. Uh, cheese got a Fiesta blend of cheese, and then a Colby Monterey Jack because uh, y'all know I like Colby. He's my boy. And I got a little salt, a little pepper. Got a little salsa. Um, and this stuff right here, uh, I'm digging this a lot more than, than sour cream lately. It's, it's the bomb. And uh, this right here is a little bit of homemade uh, hot sauce that my boy Jeremiah sent me. Thank you, Jeremiah M. I'm going to just put M on there. So, um, yeah, a little salsa in the background there, okay? A little salsa, and that's it. Oh, <laughs> boy, I forgot the old Mike Lowry's. We're going to put some of that Mike Lowry's on them hash browns. Oh, I forgot the hash browns and butter. Uh, these aren't my hash browns I've been using. These are just frozen hash browns. I'm actually out of the dehydrated kind. But I took these. These are frozen, and I microwaved them and just got them. Uh, they're, they're not cooked all the way through, but it seems to help uh, when you put them on the Blackstone. So we're going to get them on. We're going to put them in our breakfast burrito uh and it's gonna be good all right oh we boys it's gonna be good groceries it's gonna be good groceries oh my gosh i don't know if y'all remember or not i did a breakfast burrito not long ago but it was just it was just really to stomp a mud hole on somebody that was josh okay i did it it was huge it was big uh, it's not something you want to do all the time we're just going to do an everyday burrito today and it's going to be good all right let's get to cooking so uh, I'm going to put down uh, a little oil, a little oil, and I got, um, see, what do I got here? What do I got? Where's my infrared? I've had this on for a little bit. So right here, I got 300 degrees, 300 degrees. I got about 300 left to right. Uh, I have it on low, but I've been kind of, this thing right here runs hot. It runs a lot hotter than my OG Blackstone. So I gotta, you gotta kind of temperature manage things a little bit differently. So that's why I was saying everybody that says, hey, what's your knob setting? It's not always about your knobs. It's about your temperature at the griddle, okay? So invest in one of these. Uh, this one is a Thermaworks brand. Down below, there's a link. Uh, don't have to buy that, buy whatever you like. But that way, uh, you're not burning crap, all right? So we're going to get our hash browns down first because that takes the longest, okay? So I cranked this side up over here. I'm going to put the hash browns right over here on the right. And we're just going to put them there. So the idea of hash browns is... Get them in a nice thin layer, okay? And you want to make sure you just don't touch them. That's hard for me because I just want to poke at it. I'm, I'm bad at it. So I'm going to do a little bit of salt. Go ahead and season them. 
because they do require some a, good, a fair amount of seasoning. We'll go ahead and put some Mike Lowry's down too. Um, by the way, whenever, it, I mean, that's something you got to do every time. Every time that you use Lowry season, you got to say Mike Lowry's. All right. So, and a uh, little pat of butter on those hash browns. Where's my oil? There it is. And then you also, hash browns, they need a lot of oil, y'all. So, we're just going to let those chill. We're going to let those chill, okay? Next item on the Nisi sausage. It takes a little bit of time also, okay? You got raw sausage, okay? So, we're just going to do... Um, about a half a pound, okay? And then we're just gonna break that up. Also, wanna get our onions, our peppers, our vegetables kind of stuff. Get a little bit of uh A little bit more oil and this right here is just our peppers our vegetable our vegetables okay we're gonna fry those up all right a little salt pepper on those boy I love those those green onions have a very pungent smell a little pepper okay I'll put them up here actually. Come here. All right. Chop this up. I wonder if this right here will work a little bit better. Oh, yeah. I got one of these units from uh, Pampered Chef. And uh, it's, it's to break up meat. It does really good. All right, there we go. Now, while that's going, got our shells there for our burritos. We're going to scramble up these eggs. I got six eggs. I got six eggs, a little bit of milk, a little dash of milk. Like I said, Y'all don't do milk, that's fine. So there's gonna be somebody out there who says, oh, you did milk. I don't care. Just do what you want. My mom always did this, all right? A little salt. A little pepper. A little salt and pepper. All right, so it's been about a minute or so, and we're gonna we're gonna flip our hash browns. They're looking pretty good. Again, thin layer. Thin layer, a little bit of oil, and a little bit of Mike Lowry's. A little light Lowry's on this side right here, all right? A little Lowry's, okay? Wouldn't hurt, just a little bit more oil. Just wanna make sure it's, it's nice and uh, wet. Okay, you don't want a lot of oil, you don't want it swimming, but uh, yeah, our vegetables are done, okay. I got a little girl, I got a little girl here, I'm making a little breakfast, Mayor Bear. All right, so I think it's time, you all right? The black salt will keep you warm. Watch out, it's a splattering a little bit. So, yeah, it does. All right, we're ready for our sausage and eggs, okay? Um, we're going to take our eggs, make sure they're nice and scrambled, okay? And then we're going to just, we're going to come in here and pour just it. pour it like this. Yep. 
And you want to make sure your top isn't real hot. Mine, mine is kind of hot right now, but this will cool it down a little bit. All right. Just let it run. Let it run. Just don't let it run through the back. It'll be all right. Now we're going to take our cheese. We're going to take our cheese and sprinkle it around, okay? It's raining cheese. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here, egg. Yeah, so we're just going to sprinkle it with a good little amount of cheese. Well, all righty. I'm going to do it just like that. Okay, then, so we're just going to flip it over like that, 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 flip it over like that. And that's just what we're going to do. That's how, that's how we do it. It's kind of like a big omelet. Okay, so... Yep, those are some hash browns over here. Yeah, a little sizzle. Okay, now we're gonna let this cook a little bit over here, okay? Because it's still, when we rolled it, it's got, it's a little, it can be a little raw, so you wanna cook it. Your mama likes to make sure she, her eggs are nice and cooked, okay? In the meantime, I'm gonna cut this burner on. Cut this burner on. I'm going to get a tortilla softened for me. Put every burner on. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little tortilla right there. This is the, yeah. And I'm just gonna, yep, just gonna create a little steam. Even though it's close, I can hear sizzle. Yeah, and what that, what that does is it makes that tortilla nice and pliable. So, our tortilla is nice and pliable because we want to make sure we, um, we can make sure that we we can fold it nicely in it. Okay. All righty. Now we're gonna get the burrito down. I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese to mine. That's just that's just the way I want to do it. So I'm gonna come in here. I'll put a little bit of this, a little bit of this egg mixture. Okay, I'm gonna get a nice hearty amount of eggs. Okay, I wanna make sure, wanna make sure that you leave room on the on the sides. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of vegetables. Yeah. We're gonna do more cheese. We're gonna do more cheese. All right, so I forgot to hit the record button again. So I just put my my eggs, my vegetables, some more cheese, some hash browns on there. That's what it looks like. And now, yep, I want to put a little bit of. I like a little salsa in my burrito because. Yep, and I'm gonna take some of my buddy's green. I think it's got garlic, it's probably jalapenos. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with this too. All right. Now we gotta try to fold this bad boy. So bring it in. Yep. Bring it in, and then bring it. Bring it in like that, and then we roll it, okay? Now, we're gonna put it on here, and we're gonna take our press, and we're gonna press it, okay? Just like that. We're about done with this, y'all. We're about done. Let's see where we're at. Nice and crispy. Just want to make sure you press it. All right. Yep. It's okay. Well, look at that. 
Looky there, looky there. All right. I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna put it right there. And then, we're just gonna slice this bad boy. If I were you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't touch it right now. Look at that. That looks good. It's like, it's like half egg, half spicy. Yeah. Blackstone's on off. Off, off, off. Now, I like a little bit of this cream. I didn't put any inside because I didn't want it to get get runny or nasty, so I just kind of come here like that. Look at that. I love that stuff. I'm going to take a little bit more of Jeremiah's hot sauce. I'm going to put it right there. We're going to give it a try. I can't stop looking at that. Oh, man. I can just still imagine me trying that. You want to try it? No. So the hash browns, that's what I get first. And then the creaminess of the eggs come through. Mm. Those vegetables are so good too. Add a nice crunch. Man, I forgot something. What? <laughs> I forgot something. I forgot something. <laughs> Uh, forgot the cheer wine. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Silly boy. Uh, you want some? Well, y'all, this breakfast burrito is fantastic. Mm. I love the hash browns. I taste the Mike Lowry. Mm. It's good. The hot sauce, Jeremiah. I love it, man. It's good stuff. Appreciate you sending that to me. But uh, but y'all, y'all try this breakfast burrito. Okay, it's easy, easy peasy. Put whatever you want inside of there. Doesn't matter. This is just what I felt like today. So do whatever you want. Doesn't matter to me. Just make it. Just make it yours. Make it awesome. Okay. I'm sure you will, cause everybody crushing it. I get I get all the messages and stuff from people. So. Keep those things coming too. I love them. But y'all, that's it for today. I appreciate you. I love you. Until next time, folks, Hungry Hussy is out.